for our defense to be successful this year, really, we, the biggest thing is we don't have to do anything special. Uh, we got to be the black hole. I mean, if we play with the violence, the swarm, the excitement that we are, that we, we create as the black hole, um, then, then the success will come to us. There's no one player, there's no one call that's going to get it, that's going to make us win or lose games. We've got to play with that excitement, play with that, that black hole mentality in order to win. Our number one goal is to improve our discipline. So uh, two aspects of that, one being on the field, one being off the field. Um, on the field, we got to improve on penalties. Um, that was an issue in the, in the fall. We need to uh, fix a lot of that, those mistakes. Um, and then also on the field is in terms of our discipline, we're talking about technique. Um, so playing with the technique that we're coaching, um, and, and that will help us reduce the penalties as well. Um, off the field, we're talking about discipline in terms of just taking care of our bodies, making sure that we're getting in the training room, uh, eating right, sleeping properly, uh, so that we're on the field, we're 100%, we're ready to go, we're healthy. Um, and then we're also, our, our second goal this spring is just to compete. Uh, and and that's, that's something that we do across the all year. Uh, but it's, we have a lot of young guys that are first time um, stepping into the rules that they're in. Um, and they're led by the older guys, but we want to see guys just compete in everything they do, whether it's a special teams drill, uh, individual drill, and then of course our team drills and our live drills, we want to see guys compete. Uh, really our philosophy as a defensive staff, we want to be aggressive. Um, and we want to try to get the, you know, force the offense's hand. We want to make sure we dictate where the ball goes. Um, and we want to make them make plays. Um, so we're going to be aggressive. We're going to be pressed on the outside. We're going to make sure we bring pressures um, a lot like we have in the past. Um, and, and the identity of our defense is here and, and it's stable. Our guys know um, that really what the black hole is all about in terms of the violence, the swarm, and the plan with excitement. Um, our guys really understand that. And uh, so we, we, are, we have the identity and that culture is kind of already established here. So we're going to be two, three uh, deep at each spot. Um, and, and allowing us to kind of roll guys through, keep, keep guys fresh, it's going to really allow us to uh, you know, stop the run, number one, and then have fresh guys coming in on third down in our different sub packages to rush the quarterback once we get a, a team to be one dimensional. So, I mean, the big hole right now will be Sheffield, you know, and, and the production that, that he, he had this past year and, and the, his four years here. So, um, now we've got a lot of guys coming back. Uh, Deshaun Stevens, Daji Lowe, Jerron Grayer, uh, Adrian Otero, guys that have played here and, and produced, and, and they're going to be asked to step up um, and, and play more of a role. And we've got some young guys that have looked, well, uh, looked good in, in spring so far, too. Miles Taylor, um, TJ Jones, guys that have been productive. Um, and, and, you know, they're going to have to step up and, and, you know, replace that that last production. And that's that's something that we're, we're, we're hoping to see this spring with those guys. Corner position, uh, you know, Manny Patterson is, is the leader. He's, he's the, you know, the best corner in the country. Um, so we have him, and he's been a great leader for those guys. And, and they've really done a great job competing with each other. Uh, a lot of them got a little bit of success last year. Um, in, in games, and, and that's going to be something that they, they can lean on as we kind of go forward here. And we could already see in the spring the, the confidence that they're playing with um, compared to in the fall. Um, they're, you know, they're more confident in, in their assignment, their technique. You know, Coach Garrett is new, so they're, they're adjusted well to him. You know, he's bringing some new ideas and techniques as well. Um, and, and so far, again, they've been a very competitive group um, and done a great job this spring. A big question is going to be, hey, how are you going to repeat, repeat the success that you guys had? And, and uh, you know, the biggest thing we have to fall back on is the experience. And, and last year, obviously, was a longer season for us. We had we had a lot of experiences throughout the games that we played. But really, going back three years, this group has a lot of experience now, um, and that's where we have to lean on that. And that needs to be a strength for us going into this year in order to repeat that success. You know, and, and we have to understand this is a new team. It's a new defense. There's going to be new guys out there. We have, you know, new coaches on the defensive side. Um, so it's, it's going to be different. But those experiences have to be the thing that kind of guide us through that.